I should come along. All right, what did you just give me? Like Hide thing. armor of the squire? No. Are you Not fucking kidding me? Risk both of you. That sounds like a joke. <laughs> what is that? Hide armor of the squire increases light armor skill by 15 points. Yeah, that's that's honestly not terrible, but I'm definitely just going to sell that. Yeah. You Thank you for the Christmas gift, Jarl. I'm going to go rags. throw up. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. Yes, it is. Ah! Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. <laughs> Don't ever say that again. I'm not that was a man. cringy line, Irileth. Human form. Just unsheath me and point me at the enemy. Who said? Who just said that? I'm a weapon in human form. That's like a, that's some fucking Charlie Sheen shit. I'm winning. I got that tiger blood in my DNA. Just unsheath me and watch me go. A fucking weapon in human form. Dude, God. The new generation will never understand how fucking funny that in that Charlie Sheen interview was, dude. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. Just do yourself a favor and look it up. Anyway, let's go kill a dragon. Let's go fucking do this shit, dude. We're, we are finally killing a real living dragon. And, um, I don't know why, I just randomly thought of how when this game came out, a lot of people were pissed that the game didn't have a dragon riding mechanic. It was like, oh, I can kill dragons all day, but I can't ride them? That'd be so cool. I'd be, I was like, yes, that would that'd be pretty fucking cool, but, I mean, this game's got some serious tech limitations as it is, man. Like, they can't even, <clears throat> they can't even properly populate the cities. There's only, like, four people <laughs> live in this fucking... I'm just... It's not, like, that... I'm exaggerating, but, you know. You see what I'm what I'm getting at. Alright, what the hell happened over here, hmm? Why is the uh, Skyrim GPS pointing me right here? This is a rock with some moss on it. Some grass here. This is a nice spot, but I don't think that's where I'm supposed to go. That's not right, Skyrim. I'm supposed to go over here. Where all this fire and dragon wreckage is and shit, you know? Let's go talk to this no, dude. Get back. It's still here somewhere. Okay. Rocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. You look Mexican. Are you Mexican? Are there Mexicans in Skyrim? Again. Hmm? Oh yeah, you're right. Sounds like a bird. Smells like Twitter. Mark Zuckerberg's getting ready for action, baby. Alright, I should probably get some better spells ready for this, though. You know, we'll get Sparks ready. We'll get Sparks ready, because I feel like <clears throat> using fire on a dragon is a little bit counterintuitive. Maybe that's just me. Alright. My magic is pretty weak, though, so hopefully the uh, NPCs can, can muscle and do some of the work here. I, I sort of doubt it, but we'll see. Get back down here, you bastard. Yeah, I do a very little damage to this dude. So I really hope that the NPCs can help me out and get some sweet kills on him. And by kills, I mean, you know, just some damage, so I'm not in here getting my fucking ass beat like a clown. Alright, Dragon, I'm gonna fucking beat you in the face. Ow, he hurts. He hurts. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Could be going better. Could be going worse, though. I'm attacking his tail like this Dark Souls. I'm gonna cut off his tail and somehow make out like a bandit with a cool new weapon. If only, man. <clears throat> this game would benefit from Dark Souls. Oh, shit. I panicked and just fucking... Here. Alright. I need to get out of this line of fire. Alright, he's dead. See you later, Mirmanur, -er whatever your name is. Mir Molni. Wow, I wasn't actually that far off with my gibberish. Coolio. Let's loot him. We got guard armor, guard helmet, arrows, dragon bones, and dragon scales, which I remember because they're like super like valuable, but they're also extremely heavy. You can sell them for a ton of money, but they are heavier than fuck. And now, we are becoming a superhuman! Mark Zuckerberg is a 
absorbing the power of Twitter. Use the shout section to equip unrelenting force. All right, I will do that right after I do this. I'm gonna heal first. Then we'll um, go over here, this, and then. Da -da -da -da. Where's Irileth? I'm gonna scream at her. Oh shit! You're Dragonborn. Yeah, I sure as fuck am. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I yeah. Yeah, sounds legit to me. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. All right, I'm gonna do it at you. To old I'm gonna do it at you. Dragonborn can You're ready. Without training, the way the dragons do. Sounds good to me, brother. What are you talking about? Was it fun? That's Did you like right. that? My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Uh, these guys are just reminiscing about the their grandfathers. Dragon. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. Oh, I'm more badass than whoever the fuck that guy is. Hell yeah. Screw you, Tyber Septim. Alright. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, we're gonna burn the body. We're going to conceal the evidence of there ever being a dragon here. Hey, Irileth, what do you think? That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in. And I've been in more than a few. <laughs> you've been in hairy fights. Ew. Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. You're a really hateful, ugly a bitch, dragon, you know? And that's something I You're the kind of bitch who just now. ends up being a manager at a place and all the employees under her are just like, Ew, she sucks. And they're absolutely fucking right, dude. Alright, so let's go report back to Jarl Ballin. Tell him that we are Jedi Masters. And that'll be the this phase of the quest completed. Next phase of the quest begun. Dragons I can handle. Whoa. But this talk of dragons. What the hell's going on here? Mad, I say. We're causing no trouble. <laughs> what the All fuck? Ask is to... I'm pretty sure these guys are supposed to be talking to a guard. We will be back. This is not over. You are you schizophrenic. Did. Oh We're shit. We're looking for someone in White Run. We will pay good money for information. You okay then? Who are you looking a woman, for? A foreigner in these lands. Redguard like us. Meaning she's, she's black. Not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. Okay. We are not welcome here in White Run. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Why Rorikstead though? Isn't that like far as fuck? Why not just go to like Riverwood, you stupid ass? Why are you looking it's for this person? Concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. I like money and quests and stuff. All right then. We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell, a Redguard woman. She may be somewhere in this city. Okay, Coolio. See if ya. You locate her. Find us in Rorikstead. I might do that. I might not. I think I actually remember how to finish that quest though. Strangely enough, I think I do remember how. It's just a question of whether or not I Why want to. You did it. You killed a dragon. Wow, word spreads fast, fucking Englishman from Braveheart. You look like one of the guys who killed William Wallace. That makes me not like you. Mel Gibson is a brave and honorable American. Fought in the Braveheart War. <laughs> sounds like that sounds like something Donald Trump would say. Mel Gibson, fantastic and honorable American. Thank you for your service in the Braveheart War. Whatever. We're going to talk to Jarl Balgruf, the Donald Trump of Skyrim. <laughs> some, some Elder Scrolls nerd is just furiously mashing their keyboard right now. Like, are you fucking kidding me? He called Balgruf Trump. The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So okay. what happened at the watchtower? Was the dragon there? Yeah, the dragon was there. Didn't you, did you not just like step outside and see it flying around? Like I killed the dragon. I think I deserve a reward. Let's just cut to the fucking yeah. There's no question about that. It was a mighty deed. Yeah. You've earned a place of honor among the heroes of White Run. Mm-hmm. But there must be more to it than that. Nope. It's something strange. 
happened when the dragon died. Why do you already know something happened? It's so obvious. This game is so like why does Todd why does Todd Howard have access to a keyboard? There. So it's true. The gray beards really were summoning you. That's what that annoying noise was. Masters of the way of the voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. Beautiful. Oh yeah, what do these gray beards want with me? Look at this guy. He's just looking at me like, I want to kick your ass, but I also want to give in to my raw animal lust for you. It's just like yeah, this, staring at me. The dragonborn is said to be uniquely. I like being stared at in real life or in games. Ability to focus your vital essence into a thum or shout. If you really are dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you All right. hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? Yeah. That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tybiseptim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmos. What, what was that? that? Calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Wow, what a Capable jerk. As may be. A fucking... I don't see any signs of him being this... What? Just because they're big, strong Vikings doesn't mean that racism Lord, doesn't nonsense. offend them. Why, you puffed up ignorant. Yeah, look, look, you offended him. These are him. sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I you know he's retarded. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards. You're super sense. stupid, though. Not ours. And ugly. What you don't have really any redeeming qualities, do you, Preventus? Revealed something in you. Prevent and me from hurt. sticking my foot up your ass, if Preventus. They think you're dragonborn. Who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. Where's my reward? It's a tremendous honor. Let's sit in your lap again. I envy you, you know. To climb the seven thousand steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? Hi, Rob. I'm gonna give you a Mr. Miyagi style fire massage. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. Why would they? They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to Hi Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city. Dragonborn. Yes, I have. Give right me a reward. Ooh, Axe Thane of White Run. White Run. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. Yeah, I'm I a Thane. Lydia as a personal house carl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. Good. I'll also Good. I'll notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? Ooh, realistic we politics. Are to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back All right then. I'm over in comfort. What the fuck? <laughs> yes, my <laughs> My first order of, as Thane is we need to fire this fucking creep right now. He looks Thank like a God human bat. Battles, Thank you. All right, let's look at this axe of white run. What do we get? Axe of white run. Where are you? Target takes five points of shock damage and half as much magic damage. That could be kind of good. Uh. Too bad I'm over encumbered now, which means I'm gonna have to go into my inventory and drink some wine, and then there we go. We're a little bit drunk, and our inventory is free to go. Hello there. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. My name is Mark Zuckerberg. I'm from Planet Earth. I am the founder of a big social media phenomenon. And uh, there's a movie about me called, uh, what was it called? God damn it! Yeah. It was a movie. I think there were actually two Facebook movies. I don't remember what either of them were called. Oh yeah, one of them was The Social Network. Was that the one that sucked? Because there was one that sucked and one that was good. All right, whatever. Sorry, Lydia. I'm getting off track here. As my thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. That's great. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the hold. A hero. A dragon the slayer. Is an honor. 
a gift and a slayer service. of pussy. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. That's kind of funny. So really, all being a thane does is let me get away with crime every now and then. That's it. <laughs> cool. All right. Yep. Follow me. I need you to carry a bunch of shit for me. So lead the way. At least for the time being, we'll be hanging out with Lydia. She'll be she'll be journeying with right us. Behind you. I don't know if I'm gonna keep Lydia for very long, but I am sworn to carry your burdens. You sure as fuck are, bitch. So here we go. I'm going to give you the axe of White Run because I feel like. Oh, wait, no, I meant to give it to her. Yep. I feel like she she could probably put that to better use than me. Um, I'm also going to give you um nothing else because I'd like to go sell things. Lead on. Cool. So let's go sell some things. And then I'm probably going to end the recording session, because I've been playing Skyrim for a while now. It's been a while, and I'd like to go to bed. It sounds nice. I have to work tomorrow, and it's going to... Um, it's, going to it's not necessarily going to suck, but, you know, it's, it's not necessarily going to be the greatest thing ever. Also, it's too late, and the stores are going to be closed, so I'm going to need to do this. And wait for like 12 hours, hopefully Bellathor will be awake. <coughs> the good old general store will be open, and I can sell things. Make some money, and... There's actually one more thing back up in Dragon's Reach that I wanted to do, that I forgot about. Oh shit, Bellathor's not awake? Are you fucking... It's 9 a.m. It's 9 a.m. on a Sunday. Oh, come on. Does, does Skyrim actually have real-life church hours? That is, <laughs> Whatever. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Dude, you are, like, so creepy, but you're also ripped, so I, I'm not going to say anything. Trinkets, odds and ends... That sort of thing. Okie dokie then, Mr. Bellathor. I'm going to sell you some dragon bones. Plop, plop, plop. And some dragon scales. There we go. Deer hide, sure. Um, probably going to just sell that spell tome, too. Book of Daedra. Books, books, books. Oh shit, he's out of money. Damn, I cleaned him out quick. See you later. Do come back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the first few episodes of um, Welcome Back to Skyrim. Um, when we come back next time, we will be embarking on another adventure with Lydia. And by another adventure, I mean we're going back to Dragon's Reach to accomplish a quick objective that I want to do before moving on out of this area. But, yep, we need to go see the Greybeards, learn how to be a true Jedi, learn how to do shouts and shit, and then we'll see where the wind takes us from there. So, yep, I hope you guys have been enjoying what's out so far. Um, good night, and Godspeed.